Hey guys, we're now pollinating this beautiful Trichoceros hybrid. I will be collecting pollen, then I will be pollinating both flowers with different pollen that I've brought with me. The, the right flower will be pollinated with Trichoceros pachanoi, the left one with um, a verlets, a yellow flowering verlets cantoro hybrid. I want to bring in some color into the next generation. So yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is to collect pollen now. I first try out to see if the if the flower produces a lot of pollen. If it does, I just brush the pollen into the bag. If it doesn't, I remove parts of the flower. produces some pollen which is great. I will start collecting pure pollen and spread it over my bags. I brought about five or six bags. I just shove the slip from these bags below below the, the pollen containing areas in the flower and just Rush against it, you know. This is this is the pollen that I've collected from one flower. I don't know if you see it, but uh, there's a little bit of pollen at the bottom. This is enough to make two or three pollinations. Bag number one. doesn't have a lot of pollen but it does have pollen which is which is uh, not not common I wouldn't say not common but it's not self-evident you know it happens a lot with hybrids that they don't produce a lot of pollen it's a problem you know it has about it has to do with genetic health there are some some very uh, some genetically poor hybrids that are almost sterile and uh, it's a problem that cactus breeders have a lot you know so I now collected the second the second bag and now I'll go to the other flower while I do this you need to be very careful that you don't accidentally pollinate the flower with its own pollen this is really a uh, very common problem this is actually common you know you can very often cause accidental pollinations and it's nothing that you uh, you want all right this one has more pollen this is a beautiful flower i'm really i'm really happy about this guy was one of the best plants that I, that I bought last year. Got this one from, from Ingo Bartels. He's a good friend of mine and I love the stuff he does. He's a great breeder. So, yeah. This is some pollen. I will probably have to get some more bags because there's a lot of pollen and I want to collect everything of it.
All right, this is uh, pretty much all the pollen that I could get loose. Now I'll, um, I'll uh, cut away some parts to avoid self-pollination and just to give me some extra pollen. I always disinfect this scissor. I also have a few others. This is a long and time-consuming process, but it's worth it because you reduce the, the chance of having accidental self-pollination and you get a little bit more extra pollen that you can use in case you run out, you know. It's, uh, it doesn't always, doesn't always work, it doesn't, doesn't work as well as um, the bags where you have nothing but pollen inside, but you can, you can use it if you if you really want to you know um, if you really want to make a cross the pollination is just as successful if it's stored correctly as uh, bags with pure pollen but you know it kind of it kind of still it reduces the viability of pollen you have organic matter in these bags and it's and it's not ideal you know you need to need to freeze them very very professionally which is something that I'll show you another time all right this is uh yeah. now I'll take on the other flower This is the last bag that I'm collecting. So I'm trying to get it right. There's pollen everywhere, it sticks to everything inside the flower, so you can remove large part of the flower that you don't need to have a successful pollination, you know. You just have to be careful not to damage this part here, it's essential, you know. So, that was it, I think this is enough. I'm just uh, making sure everything looks good on camera. All right, now this brush is used. I can't use this anymore. It has to be disinfected. So um, I just put in the pollen into the bag, which contains the same pollen, you know. And now we're pollinating. This is a Trichocerus paranoi. I have a lot. In this bag there's a lot of pollen. It should be enough to successfully pollinate it. 
this flower will be the one that's pollinated with Fischer Pierrot Pachanoi. I'll take a, a relatively large brush. There's pollen everywhere now. And I pollinate this guy. Very gently, but firmly. You know, it's like, like some things in life need to be done like with with efficiency but with with destination with like you want to make it happen you need to make it happen you know all right this one's pollinated this should say with paranoi i'll make another pollination with the same bag later today i pollinate it again you know now I'm going to the other side. This is Cantora Gelb crossed with Wurlitz. It's a yellow flower, beautiful, beautiful yellow flower. And I want to bring in some color. I don't know if it works, but this was one of my best yellow hybrids last year. So yeah, there was relatively few pollen on the in the bag, so I hope it it'll work. I'll po re I'll pollinate it again later, and now I get my last brush that I have and pollinate the other flower again. Same pollen that I used first time. Check out how much pollen I have on the on the on the brush. I mean, it doesn't zoom, it doesn't get sharp, but you, you can see how much it is. All right. Successful successfully rubbed everything with the pollen now we'll see i'll let this guy stay here for a couple of hours for two three hours and then pollinate both then i pollinate both flowers again i really want to get seeds from this guy there are some more flower buds coming up so it won't be the last chance that i get but it's it's important to me you know Imagine you have a Trichoceros Paranoi with such a flower. I mean, it's just beautiful. I would like to have the body of a Trichoceros Paranoi and this flower. That's the, that's the main goal with this cross. And yeah, the other one, again, it needs to be multicolored. The color is a little bit, it has a lot of contrast, but it's a little bit boring, you know. So I want to bring in a beautiful flower like multicolored flower so this is it i'll freeze my pollen these are all need to be disinfected you know nothing can be used before it's disinfected and yeah that's basically it it uh it doesn't smell now i'm measuring it already starting to to close but um, it's still open open enough to measure it it's 14 centimeters eighteen centimeters long yeah that's basically it you know I'll take a few more pictures with this guy later and uh, yeah, I hope you liked the video. Recommend our channel. Share us, share the stuff we do. Tell it to your friends and give us a thumbs up. The whole the whole shebang, you know. Alright guys, take care. Have a nice Sunday. Bye.